Okay, welcome to Accelerated Math Quadratic Formula 2 Real Roots. Now, uh, you're probably used to seeing this kind of thing and thinking, hey, I can factor this. And there is, you could factor it if it was just like that. You would get it into its two binomials, you know, maybe using the diamond or something like that. But there's something different about this one. It says that it's equal to zero. So in this case, instead of just factoring, we can actually find out the solutions to x. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, so, but we're going to use, um, now this one's called quadratic formula, so we are going to use the quadratic formula. On this particular one, I want to show you that you can use the diamond as well, and then we're going to see another one where you can't use the quadratic formula, uh, I'm sorry, the diamond, so you're going to have to use the quadratic uh, formula. So here I'm going to label A, B, C above there so that I know what I'm doing, and I'm, I said I'm going to go ahead and do the diamond on this one. This one was what, A, C, and then the basement down there, and then we're going to divide by A. Some of you used to see an A, X, but we're just going straight to a solution, so we don't really care about the X. But So A times C, uh, 5 times 1 is 5, and the basement, or B, is negative 6, and I'm looking for two things that factor um, or, or multiply to give 5, but add to negative 6. 5 and 1 is the only options I have, except for they both have to be negative to add to negative 6. So negative 5 and negative 1 works, and as I said, it's going to work on this one. And then if you remember, we're going to divide by A. In this case, A is 5, so we're dividing by 5, and you look to reduce it, and then you're going to take the opposite. Can you reduce negative 5 over 5? Yes, it reduces to negative 1. And then we're going to take the opposite of that, so the answer is 1. And then over here, you can't reduce this. Um, so we're just going to take the opposite of it, so it's one-fifth. So it's one-fifth and one. All right, and of course one-fifth and one, there's our answer. All right, now, on the next one, I want you to see that uh, we can't do, well, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step back on this one. This one does not say it's equal to zero like that last one, so I'm going to simplify it or, or solve it so that it is set to zero. So I've got x squared. I'm going to I'm going to add 5x to both sides. So I'm adding 5x, and some of you are looking at that going, well, 5x and x squared are not like terms, so how do I do that? Well, you can't, so you just put it right next to it. And I'm also going to subtract 3 from both sides. So I'm loading up that side, and now it's equal to 0. And you have to get it equal to 0 first. So set to 0, set to 0. And then you want to ask the question, is there a greatest common factor in it? There's no greatest common factor here. And the next thing I want to do is uh, my ABC values and try the diamond. And then if that doesn't work, I'm going to go to the, you're going to see, I'm going to go to the quadratic formula. All right, so my ABC values. And uh, in the basement, I'll put a 5. In the top, I'm going to put A times C is negative 3. And you can see right off the bat, negative 3, your only choices are 3 and 1 and some combination of negatives and positives. But that's not going to add to 5, and that's not going to add to 5, so this whole diamond method is not going to work. So I need to kind of get rid of that. Let's see if I can get rid of this. Yay! Where's my trash can? Oh, there it is. All right, so I'm going to go straight to the quadratic formula. All right, so the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. All right. And uh, lots of different teachers have different stories of how to remember that, but uh, hopefully you can get that one. That one is on the end of course test uh, formula sheet, so that's good that you don't actually have to memorize it, but a lot of students do. All right, so now I'm going to start plugging it in. It said negative b, so that's negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1. Notice there's no coefficient in front of the x squared, so it is a 1. And then c is negative 3, all this divided by 2 times, again, a or 1. All right, now it's going to go into simplifying this. 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 4 times 1 times negative 3. Well, if you do that 4 times 1, that's 4. And 4 times negative 3, that's negative 12. So this is 4 minus negative 12 over 2. And I just simplified the 2 times 1. All right. And you learned a long time ago when you're subtracting a negative, it's just like adding a positive. So we can change that to plus plus. So we got negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 37 divided by 2. And 
you know what, that's the answer. You see this little plus or minus part? That's just showing that it really can be separated into two things. So I got negative 5 plus the square root of 37 and negative 5 minus the square root of 7, 37 divided by 2. So there's our answer. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, this one, ooh, it's already set to 0. Remember I said that was the first thing? Check for a GCF. Ooh, there is a GCF on this one. So you can do this. Uh, you can divide, notice the greatest common factor is 2, so you could divide everything by 2 and then simplify it a little bit. So we'd have x squared plus 3x minus 1 equals 0. I'm not going to do that here because, I mean, that, that works out and it works out with the quadratic formula. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that I didn't see that there was a GCF and I want you to see what happens when you do that. So I've got my a b and my c values so I'm going to pretend that I did not see the fact that there was a GCF and I could pull that out but um, so my a so I'm going back to the quadratic formula negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a all right and negative 6 plus or minus b squared I'm going to go ahead and square that it's 36 minus 4 times a, which is 2, and C, which is negative 2, divided by 2A, which is 2. All right, negative 6, plus or minus. I'm going to simplify what's in the, in the square root. We're going to call that the discriminant later on. Uh, let's see, I got 36, and you'll notice it's minus whatever I come up with here. And whatever you come up here is, well, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times negative 2 is negative 16, so it's 36 minus negative 16. Well, we just learned a second ago that that's minus, uh, minus negative is plus a positive. So, and then we divided by 4. So I got negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 and 16 adds to 52 and divided by 4. All right. Negative 6 plus, or, and some of you are kind of going, oh, okay, I don't know what else to do there, but we're going to simplify the square root of 52. If you want to do it, you can do it with the calculator. And I'm just going square root of 52 and hitting enter. I got 2 on the square root of 13. So I can go negative 6 plus or minus 2 on the square root of 13 over 4. Now, when you have a denominator like that and the numerator is split into two parts, you literally can split it up. Negative 6 plus or minus 2 on the square root of 13, and both of those are divided by 4. All right. So I'm going to reduce this part, that's negative 3 over 2, plus or minus, and here I'm just going to reduce, uh, 2 goes in that once and twice there, so over 2, and it was 1 on the square root of 13, or just square root of 13, and that's our answer. And you'll notice um, what they did in the answers is they combined that denominator back, so they put it as negative 3 plus or minus square root of 13 over 2. If you had done it with the GCF and gotten the 2 out of there, that's the answer you would have come straight to. So it is best if you can find the GCF and get that out of there first. All right, so let's go back to this one. I do not have it set to 0 yet, so I need to get that positive 6x over to the other side. So I'm going to minus 6x from both sides. So I end up with 2x squared minus 6x plus 1 equals 0. It's important to get it in that x squared x and... Uh, constant kind of uh, format. It's uh, called the standard form of a quadratic so that you can identify the correct ABC values. All right, now I chose this one as an example because we the formula, of course, is negative B plus or minus blah, 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 divided by 2A. Well, negative B, if B is negative, like this case, then it's minus negative 6 plus or minus the square root of B squared, negative 6 squared, I'm putting that parentheses because that negative has to get squared to minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a, which is 2. All right, so going back to this, minus and negative is the same thing as plus, so this is 6 plus or minus negative 6 squared is positive 36, and then minus, I got 4 times 2, which is 8 times 1, and still 8 over 4. All right, 6 plus or minus 36 minus 8 is 28 divided by 4. I'm going to go, I'm going to work with the square root of 28. Probably most of you guys know this, but square root of 28, 2 on the square root of 7. 
So I got 6 plus or minus 2 on the square root of 7 over 4. And if you remember a second ago, I talked about splitting that up. So it's 6 over 4 plus or minus 2 on the square root of 7 over 4. And then look to reduce that. So 6 fourths reduces to 3 halves plus or minus. That reduces to 1 half. And then we're going to put it back together under over one denominator, so it's 3 plus or minus the square root of 7. And that's our answer. D. All right, one more. We're almost there. Uh, ooh, yikes. Okay, so what is this? Well, it's a whole bunch of variables all put in here. They didn't give us numbers, so they're really, what they're trying to do here is make sure you understand the quadratic formula and how to plug it in. So it turns out these are actually some of the easier ones because you really don't have to do many calculations, but you need to identify your A, B, C values, which can be a little confusing because they use B, C, and D. Um, so watch how I fill in the quadratic formula. The formula, of course, was negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So negative b, well, here's the b value. So it's negative c plus or minus b squared, which was c, so c squared, minus 4 times a. a was <laughs> b, and then times c. And if you look for the c value, that's d over 2 times a, which in this case is b. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of a mess. Yeah, I know. All right, so I think that's it, isn't it? Because um, that's our answer. Maybe you should look at some of these, and you can rule some of these out when you first look at them. We know this is not the form. It's got that c plus on the front. That's not it. Here's another one that's that c plus on it. And uh, we had 2b down in the denominator. We had negative c up front. I believe it's this one. All right. Yeah, this is the one that has positive C, but it's negative C on there. So it is B. All right. Have fun with it. We'll see you in the next one.